Heat is on in Georgia as candidates make their final campaign push ahead of the state's highly anticipated Senate runoff election. Democratic incumbent Raphael Warnock is facing off against Republican Senate hopeful Herschel Walker. Early voting in the state is shattering records and Democrats are holding out hope that this race could add to their razor thin majority in the U.S. Senate. ABC's M. Wynn has the story. Just one day to go until Georgia's Senate runoff election. Incumbent Democrat Raphael Warnock and his Republican challenger, former NFL star Herschel Walker, making their final pleas to voters. He was an amazing running back, and he will need those skills because come Tuesday, we're going to send him running back to Texas. Senator Warnock, who's this man out of cloth, is lying to you. Georgians setting record-breaking numbers with more than 1.86 million people casting their early ballots, according to the state elections data, lines stretching to the parking lot. The closely watched rematch coming after neither candidate clinched the 50% threshold for a November midterm win. Though analysts say Warnock's previous lead may help him tomorrow, Walker's latest endorsement from newly re-elected Republican Governor Brian Kemp could give him an edge. I think it's going to be very close. These Georgia elections have been very close. It's the second straight election in Georgia that has gone to a runoff. This time, what's at stake, how the Senate will be split, currently 50-49 favoring Democrats. Meanwhile, Walker tailgating the SEC championship game after weeks of shying away from taking questions about his campaign, mired in controversy. When God forgive you, you forgive him. And no one can bring it up again. Warnock calling this a race of competence and character. This election is about who's ready and who's fit. Although control of the Senate won't hinge on this race, top Democrats say it will determine whether just one member can hold up their legislation. Both parties have agreed this runoff is vital. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.